This cute guy is one of my all-time favorite artifacts, and we're gonna do a deep dive into this guy in particular today. Just looking at this picture here with the gold-headed cow with the lapis lazuli beard and this cool inlaid shell decoration, just looking at this, you might not know what these pieces were a part of in antiquity. These are actually the decorative bits on a musical instrument, a 10 string the lyre. Of course, wood doesn't hold up very well in the archeological record, so most of the instrument has been reconstructed in the modern period, but the metal bits and decorative shell bits of this are ancient. The lyre was found in tomb 789 of the Royal Cemetery at the city of Ur and dates to the early dynastic period um, which is about 2550 to 2450 BCE. And this was excavated in the 1920s on a joint excavation between the British Museum and the University of Pennsylvania and is now at the Penn Museum. And of course, the bearded bull face is very cute, but my favorite part is actually the inlaid decorative panel on the sound box. And here's a close-up of that front panel. On top here, we have a guy holding two bulls and all three of them seem to have the same face. And then we have a lion and a lioness, maybe, who are doing some household chores. And then this third panel is my favorite. We have a bear and a cow and then maybe a fox or something underneath the bear. And they are playing the lyre that this panel is on, which is very fun, a sort of self-referential thing. And then down below we have a scorpion guy and some sort of deer thing. I actually was taking a close look at this panel not too long ago because I'm starting to work on a project on bears in Mesopotamian culture. And interestingly, bears really don't show up very much at all in texts or visual sources. And so this is one of the very few visual representations of bears that we have. And this is a fun one. And there were actually four lyres with bull heads found at the cemetery of Orr. The one that I showed you from Penn is my favorite, but this one is at the British Museum now and it's called the Queen's Lyre. And you can see it's a little bit different. It has a curved front to the sound box and the face is a little bit different. Then there's this silver lyre, which is a little bit different, but same sort of idea, bull head, decorative front. Um, and this one is also at the British Museum. And then finally, there's this one, which is at the Iraq Museum in Baghdad. And quickly, just to talk about another representation of these bullheaded lyres, which are so fun. You might have seen this so-called standard of Ur before. Um, it's a decorated box. There's this side that has war scenes on it. And then this side that has more peaceful scenes on it. And if you actually look closely at that top row, there's another bullheaded liar on here. I actually just found this video on YouTube of this guy who has a reconstruction of the golden liar of Ur, which is the one in the Iraq Museum, and he plays it alongside someone who's reading some lines from Gilgamesh. She's reading in English. I would prefer it Akkadian, of course, but it's really fun to hear what the liar might have sounded like, and it's really kind of not what I was expecting at all. I'll put a link to this video in the notes page in my bio.